Gemeinsam freuen wir uns nämlich jetzt, hier auf die Bühne den neuen Executive Director von UNAIDS und den Untergeneralsekretär der Vereinten Nationen zu bitten, unseren Ehrengast Michel Sidibé. Guys, I let you talk and see you later. Michel Sidibé, uh, you just came back from South Africa. In, uh, one of the first things you did when you uh, started your new job as the executive director, um, you went to Kajelitscha, which is a township near Cape Town. One and a half million people live there, a lot of them with HIV and AIDS. You met a boy named, now I forgot the name, Tob Tobisha? Tobino. Tobino. And uh, you said when he fell ill in the late 90s, he uh, went down to 29 kilograms, uh, lost his job, lost a lot of his friends uh, because of the stigma, and then Nelson Mandela came to Kailicha. What happened then? When Nelson Mandela came to Kailicha, it was a great moment. It was a moment where people were waiting. They were fighting against stigma, discrimination. They were marginalized. They were not having any voice, and Mandela came. And Mandela said, let me put on your T-shirt. And on this T-shirt, it was mentioned, I am HIV positive. And he said, let us fight against the stigma. Let us fight against homophobia. Let us fight against the discrimination. From that day, it was a social revolution which started there. It was a social revolution which bring all the people together to start distributing drugs, to make sure that people will have access to treatment. And today, we have a mortality going down, and people are proud to be in Kailicia and say that they are positive, but they are living positively. I think that's a very sign of hope. So, you, you, mentioned, you mentioned universal access, um, and I know that this is for, the, uh, for UNAIDS, this is the major topic. What do you exactly mean by universal access? Before talking about universal access, if you allow me, from Kalelisha, I came to Berlin. You came to Berlin, right. And, and it then... was a really important day for me, because I had the chance to visit a center. The Berliner AIDS Hilfe, probably. Exactly. And this center was really teaching me something amazing because when I was there, I saw people infected by HIV AIDS coming together, having a breakfast together. And that was for me a moment where I realized that people with solidarity was able to restore the dignity and that program was restoring the dignity. I met a young woman, and she was coming from uh, Nigeria. She told me, I am at, today I can talk to you because I was in Berlin, because when I arrived, I was almost dying, and I met those people, and today I'm still working, and I have my son who is going to school. That is the solidarity we are looking for. That is why tonight I am happy to be with you and to say again, let us refuse homophobia. Let us make sure that we all go out. I can just tell you that I will speak with unflagging candles. And I will fight. I will go out with all my energy to make sure that you will have a voice. As so when you, say, uh, when, when you say universal access, I want to come to this universal access. Part. Universal access what is, does it mean? Universal access is a, just a movement, is a social movement to fight for the right of the people, to make sure that we can reach the unreachable. And it is not just a word. If we work together before 2010, we can uh, really save 1.3 million uh, people. We can really avoid 2.6 million uh, new infections. 
That is universal access, but more than that one, universal access is equity, is solidarity, is a fighting to make sure that people will have voice. What can an organization like UNAIDS actually do to fight homophobia? What are, what are the means that you use to, to do this? What I'm trying to do tonight is to make sure that at least uh, we use our political voice to demand change, to make sure that uh, legislation, policies could be more conducive to give space to those millions of people who are hiding themselves millions of people who need to be having access to services like anyone. So we will continue to make advocacy. Our leadership will be translated into calling the leaders of the world to make sure that space is existing for uh, 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 people who are homosexual. I have one very last question, Mr. Sidibe. Um, I think changing the thoughts of people, changing their minds, is in the end always a very personal thing. And that you come from a country, Mali, that is, let's face it, not very known for being very open about homosexuality. So I have this feeling that even in your life there was probably a moment when you understood that discrimination against homosexuals, transgender people, is something wrong. Is there such a moment in your life? Can you talk about this a little bit? I was not expecting this question, but uh, I think uh, it is a very good question. It is probably one of uh, the most difficult days I had in my life. I had a friend, long-time friend. He was married, having kids. When he realized that I was a uh, UNAIDS uh, director for program, and I was coming back home, he came to me and he said, you know, I need to talk to you. And he was crying and he said, you know, what I will tell you will surprise you, but don't condemn me. I said, what is happening? He said, I am homosexual, but I spend all my life hiding myself. I spend all my life trying to act as if I was not an homosexual. But I realized that I cannot continue because I am positive, HIV positive, and probably my wife also is HIV positive. That was one of the most difficult days for me because I realized that probably many of them were hiding themselves. Many of them were not able to cope with a, a social pressure, and that's what we need to break. We need to break this conspiracy of silence. We need to make sure that people will have uh, restored their dignity and they will be capable to continue to live with uh, their own choice. We should not condemn people or exclude them because of uh, their uh, sexual orientation and I will do all I can. And I want to ask you to stand up, to stand up. Please stand up. Please, all of you, stand up, stand up. Let us say no to... No to silence. No, no to, to silence. silence. No to homophobia. No. Yes. no to exclusion. No to discrimination and no to stigma. And thank you for this wonderful night. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Sidibe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sidibe! Angela Gluckis, Maggot!